Hi, I'm Mike Johnston here at Island Lakes Community School. I've been asked to talk to you a little bit about our In Their Footsteps project, which we did for Remembrance Day, about how we took a, an idea that was a little too big and somehow made it even bigger, uh, but made it work for our entire school community on a variety of levels. So here's how we did it. So our big question that we started with was who was behind the poppies and how can we show the people behind the poppies and sort of learn a little bit more about them instead of just having the idea of wearing them, we wanted to go a little bit further with that. So we had this idea of putting pairs of shoes as planters around so people could experience poppies. Uh, and then we had nature decide that, that was not gonna be a great idea for us because they are not in season around Remembrance Day. Uh, and we could only find about eight plants. So instead, we took that idea a little bit further uh, and we decided to go with the In Their Footsteps idea where we had all these beautiful pairs of shoes filled with poppies uh, and then we sort of transitioned into these beautiful writing projects and beautiful experiences that went along with the question, who were these people that would have worn these shoes? Who, who are the footsteps that we are following? Step one to help the students connect and to help them develop empathy and understanding for who would have worn these shoes is to have them select shoes at home that they knew were of donatable quality but that also could tell a story. This also connected us to a social justice piece because the students knew that even after the project, the shoes would be donated to real people with real stories in real time. Our next step was to connect it to currently serving military servicemen and women and find out about their stories from, from right now. For that, we contacted the Royal Canadian Legion, who were very excited about the perspective we were trying to put into this project, and were extremely generous not only with their time, but with all of the poppies they donated. There were hundreds and hundreds of poppies that they donated, uh, as well as service catalogs that had specific stories and pictures of people who had served and who are currently serving. Also, as a piece of, of the citizenship idea that we wanted to put in, they came and spoke to some of the students uh, and sent sort of messages and ideas that uh, sort of gave the students perspective on what current service looks like and what it means to be part of a family that has people who are serving. Next, we took it to the staff. We really wanted this to be something that encompassed the entire school, so we sat and we took time for collaboration with one another, really asking the question, what does this look like authentically in each of the classrooms we're dealing with, not just at the student's level, but uh, in their personal understanding and in the things that they were approaching already in the classroom. We wanted it to be really organic to what they were already studying and what they were already working on, which was great because it gave a tremendous variety of things that sort of grew from that organically and really sort of made the project pop in a lot of unexpected and collaborative ways. Finally, once we started to get all these pieces in, we have students who are really passionate about uh, video poetry and about making uh, beautiful visuals and tying them into the things that we're doing. So what they did was they took pieces and folded them together, made some great music choices, and created a great visual that encompassed all of the things that we had seen come in and put that together in the In Their Footsteps video, which we showed in our Remembrance Day assembly. It ended up being a really great celebration of something we had created together, but also a really great moment where we took time to really consider what it had meant to us and what it could mean to us moving forward. In the end, we had created this project based on a single question that had brought together an entire school community under the banners of creativity and community building and citizenship and social justice and really sort of wrapped it all around the humanity of what these poppies meant, the humanity of what footsteps were and why we as people really had to think about who these people had been in the shoes and what we were doing as people to really respect the footsteps that they no longer could take so that we could keep moving forward. Yeah.